welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this video, I'm going to be going over Yo-Yo Games' new product, Game Maker Studio 2, and everything that you need to know about it. So, Yo-Yo Games has announced uh, Game Maker Studio 2, and they've put out uh, some videos on it, they've released some documentation, and they've also opened up a restricted beta for people that are able to get into it to be able to test around with some of the new features, new UI, um... The beta is very limited. You're not going to be able to make any really big games. It's just for playing around with the new software and finding any bugs or problems that might be there. Now, I got into the restricted beta, so this is Game Maker Studio 2. It has a completely new interface, a new UI, uh, and it's actually really cool. It looks great, and I just want to go over some of the things that you are going to need to know if you are looking at Game Maker Studio 2. <clears throat> so the first thing is that Game Maker Studio 2 is an entirely new product by Yo-Yo Games. It's not an upgrade to Game Maker Studio 1. Now, what that means is that GMS 1 and GMS 2 can be both installed and running at the same time as their separate programs. They're completely independent. Now, right on the heels of that point is the next one, which is being separate programs, consumers will need to purchase GMS2 and its licenses, even if you already have licenses for Game Maker Studio 1. Now, right now, they have an upgrade deal for people that have GMS1 Professional, and I would imagine that in the future they will put sales in bundles just like they did for Game Maker Studio 1. I picked up Game Maker Studio 1 Professional Bundle and several licenses on Humble Bundle like a month, month and a half ago, and it was a really great deal. And down the line, probably a couple years, but down the line, I'm sure they'll have more things like that. Now, current Game Maker Studio 1 projects will be able to be imported into Game Maker Studio 2 pretty much ready to play. What they've said is that they will uh, have a function that will convert Game Maker Studio 1 projects and any functions that are now obsolete because they are getting rid of some functions and adding new ones, any functions in your game that they have made obsolete in Game Maker Studio 2 they will create a custom script for you and plug it into your game, hopefully allowing it to just run straight after that conversion process. There may be a little bit of work you have to do, but they hope that you'll be able to upgrade and import all of your games to Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, the reason for that, the biggest reason, is because Game Maker Studio 2 is going to be the future of Yo-Yo games. Game Maker Studio 1 isn't dead but they are only going to continue to support it for a little while longer. They'll add uh, some, some bug fixes and things like that, but there will not be any new features to Game Maker Studio 1. GMS 2 is where they're going to be going, and so eventually, if you want to continue using Game Maker Studio, you'll need to upgrade to that. Now, GMS 2, just like GMS 1, will be royalty fee free which is great. They're not going to charge you for the games that you make. You just need to purchase their software, and then you are all set. Now, GMS2 is going to release soon, and that's all that they've said. Uh, they don't have a specific date out yet, but they are doing the restricted beta now, getting uh, feedback and functionality tests in there, so I am hoping to see it in the next few months, maybe uh, early next year. Uh, if you look up here in the top left corner, you will see Game Maker Studio 2, that there is no longer a colon here in between Game Maker and Studio. This is just a little tidbit, but they've taken that away because it was causing branding issues. So that's it. Um, there are a host of new functions, uh, features, and a new way to navigate Game Maker Studio 2 as opposed to GMS 1, and I'm going to be making another video about that going over new features, but if you are in a rush, they already have uh, videos put out by Sean Spaulding talking about the key concepts and going through creating your first game both with drag and drop code and with actual coding. And that's on their Yo-Yo Games website, so... All of that stuff can already be seen if you want to jump in and start working with that. I'll be putting out videos and tutorials on Game Maker Studio 2 as well, uh, so stay tuned. And I hope that that was a helpful overview of it, just things that I think are really important to know. 
uh, because Game Maker Studio 2 is going to be a new product that I'm going to be covering, and it is going to be the future of Yo-Yo Games. So it's it's a big deal. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. If you want to see any Game Maker Studio 1 tutorials, head on over to my channel for uh, different types of games and miscellaneous tutorials. As always, have fun making games, and I'll talk to you next time.